Welcome back to ETV. Now, we're all pretty darn excited about Hialdi, and just to give you a little bit more of an inside tip, we decided to send out Sean and Tara to find out just exactly what it was like to be Basque in Boise. So, of course, the big event going on this weekend is Hialdi, and, and Tara wrote a big story this weekend in Boise Weekly. Yes, so, you know, here's the deal. We're a couple of Texans that moved to Idaho, so we're trying to figure out what it means to be Basque in Boise. Right. What would you learn? Um, well, basically, I did a guide to being an honorary Basque for Hialdi. Uh -huh. uh, so essentially, it's a guide to how to eat like a Basque, drink like a Basque, uh, how to speak the Basque language, and a very abbreviated guide. Uh -huh. um, also, about Basque sports and Basque dancing. Uh, I'm sorry, you said eat and drink? Yes. Hey, if we want to learn about how to drink like a Basque, then we need to go to Lake Uono. They'll, they'll hook us up. Okay, let's go check it out. So one of the big things for the Basque Festival, of course, is getting the right food and drink. And so we thought we'd check in here and ask about what are those perfect drinks that uh, people are going to be consuming there when they're having fun at the Basque Festival. So what's Cal the big... Calimocho and Picon Punch. Okay, now, now, what is that? I don't, I've never had one. Well, we'll make, start making one. All right. <laughs> I love my job. Okay, tell me what we're doing here. Well, we've got our glass. We're going to fill her up with ice. Okay. Tarani. Okay. Soda. Mandy. <laughs> this looks like a drink that I'm going to enjoy, right? <laughs> Me too. All right. And yeah, that was just in the garden shake. Cherry. All right. We'll add the straw. There to go. And there it is. And now, the most popular drink you're telling me is something called Calimoto, right? Calimocho. Mocho. Okay, what is that about? What? It's about red burgundy wine, the cheapest wine you can find, a couple ounces, topped up with coke. And, it's, and it tastes good? Wonderful. And you love it, right? By the leader. <laughs> Very good. So. Okay, so we got pecan punch and we got Calimoto. Calimocho. And if people want to try these out to find out which ones they like the best, where would you suggest they go? La Cuona. Oh, there you go. Come, Good place. Come check out. Charles will hook you up there. So, okay, let's go over and talk to Tara. She's going to uh, talk to us about food. Thanks, Sean. So we're here at Guernica with Jeff, uh, who's the owner of Bar Guernica. Oh. And uh, I just wanted to ask you, what uh, what are some typical Basque foods that people can expect during High Aldi? Some typical Basque foods are going to be uh, Salomos, which is going to be a marinated uh, pork loin. It's marinated uh, in a pepper sauce. It's also served with a sweet red pepper uh, or okay. pimentos. Uh, chorizos. Chorizos are always good. It's kind of a, a staple. It's a Basque sausage. Uh, it's in a casing, unlike a Mexican sausage. Okay. Uh, croquetas. Great. Lots and lots of croquetas. Love the croquetas. Yes. So how many croquetas are you making in preparation for High You know, I don't have an exact number, but uh, we've been working overtime. We have people coming in on Sundays, which we're typically closed oh, to wow. roll croquetas. Oh, wow. So in the thousands, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that sounds delicious. So if I can't wait until High Aldi to get my hands on some croquetas, where should I go? Well, you come down here to Bar Nica. We're open uh, six days a week. We're located on the Bass Block across from the Grove Hotel in the Grove uh, downtown, or 202 South Capitol. Awesome. Well, thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Wow! It looks like you and Sean had quite the fun time getting ready for High Aldi. We sure did. Now, tell us a little bit more about what we can look forward to in your article in the Weekly this week. Well, actually, uh, it's called Basque for Beginners, and it's on newsstands now. And, uh, you know, Sean and I went over the eating and drinking parts of being Basque, but this article sort of breaks down uh, everything from dancing to language to Basque sports as well. Very cool. Yeah. So pretty much everything you need to know to be uh, Basque on your own and get ready for high Aldi. Exactly. For example, uh, you can learn to say, can I have a pull from your Boda bag in Basque? <laughs> I don't know if I want to know that one. <laughs> Well, perfect. Well, speaking of the Boda Bag, um, Sean is going to fill us in a little bit on Idaho's local beer and wine scene. Coming up right after this.